Hello investors, welcome to the show. Hindi kailangan mahal ang magmahal. These products look saleable. Love your car, drive it clean. Do you have what it takes to be the next big thing? Is your idea a potential game changer? Can your company bring us to the future today? Today, we find out who among our five finalists will win 500,000 pesos and the chance to scale up their business big time. I'm Janina Chan. Welcome to the final showdown of Scale Up. For the past month, our five finalists made good use of the 150,000 pesos seed money they won in our weekly finals. And today, it's down to their final pitch and with their improvements and results to show, they will present their progress and try to convince our investors that they deserve an additional 500,000 pesos in capital. Who do they need to convince? We welcome back to our stage, Pepe Torres, Maya's Chief Marketing Officer. Lorian Tan, the co-founder of Tiny Buds. And Miguel Guerrero, the co-founder and CEO of Guzzi.ph. Our five finalists were given a month to improve their business using the initial 150,000 pesos seed money they won during our weekly finals. Now they are back to show the results of their business plan to our investors for a chance to win the final investment of 500,000 pesos. Now, since this is the finals, we gathered our contestants earlier on so they can draw lots on the order of their presentations. And first to present, let's kick things off with Click Media Group. The first thing that we had for the past month is to fix ourselves internally. Kasi I believe that hindi ka makapag-scale up kung gulo-gulo kayo. So, what we did first is to hire more people. We hired HR, finally, after three years, may HR na po kami, I'm proud to say. Ngayon, we hired more editors. We hired more branch managers para sila yung magsusupervise sa mga operations natin. Pangalawa, we codified our operations manual and enforced our employee manual. And pangatlo, continuing professional development. And professional development is not just about um, technical skills. We did seminars on gender and development, diba? Kasi we have to make sure that we are gender sensitive to all our customers, to all our clients. Continuing professional development to make sure na hindi stagnant yung ating mga photographers, editors, mga technical personnel. Pangalawa, I think this one is one of the parts that I'm very proud of that we did in the span of a month. So number one, dahil nga there is a decline in uh, graduation photo shoots, we had to do aggressive campaigning on social media and um, cold marketing. As in, we had to go to schools, we had to talk to people, we had to make uh, promos, 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 no? To ensure that um, we have customers coming to us. Pangalawa, as I've mentioned last time, I remember this so well, si Sir Pepe nagtanong sa akin, uh, you have a repository of many, many clients before, what did you do with that? Ito na po, sir. Um, Nag-email marketing kami. So, to make sure that they remember us, kinakamusta namin sila, we ask for feedback, we give them coupons, we had to make sure that we are visible wherever clients go. Dati, pag ginugel mo yung click, hindi siya lumalabas. Or when you ask people, what is click? They don't know, they don't have an idea. Ngayon, I'm proud to say that if you use your phone and you Google click or you Google graduation photoshoot studio, nasa first page na po kami. When you do a location-based search, for example, graduation shoot in San Juan, number one po ang click sa lumalabas. Next is integration of Maya in our payment systems. We tried to give customers more options to pay. Online, credit card, no? And of course, yun nga, we integrated Maya as an additional option. And currently, a work in progress is chatbot to automate our appointments, to make it sure that um, customers, kahit wala yung social media managers namin, may sumasagot, no? at least kahit automated. And of course, we revamped our student portal. Dati kasi wala pang options for credit card payment for online transfer. Walang options for QR scanning lang. So, we also are integrating this one in our student portal. And of course, capital expenditure. So, saan napunta yung seed money? Here po, mostly. 
The last time I said na we were planning to operationalize our third studio in Alabang. Ngayon, full swing na po siya. No, it's generating revenues. We've procured new cameras, new workstation laptops, and I guess yung pinakamalaki po namin na investment is yung acquisition of a photo lab. Dati kasi, outsourced yung mga photos namin. We had to ask others to print outside. Ngayon, in-house na po siya. Ngayon, we have power over the quality of our work. We gained 12% increase in our revenues. No, so previously, that was around 3.9 compared sa, I mean, 3.9 million sa past quarter. And then for this quarter, it was around 4.8. So medyo around 30%, 40% yung increase. Oh, sorry, 12% yung gross. Ito pala yung 30%, manpower. Because we had to make things happen, no, we had to operationalize our third studio. We hired more people. So as of now, um, I mean, last time we had less than 20 na mga full-time. Ngayon, 33 na kami. And then, pag sinama mo lahat, pati part-timers, from 66, 87 na po kami ngayon. So, we had 32% increase in manpower. That meant more jobs for people. What's next for us? How can Scale Up help us? Here na po. So, as we are talking right now, we have three studios in NCR. Two weeks ago, we went to Baguio at nakapag-identify na kami ng fourth studio, which will open sometime November or December. And then tomorrow, we are heading to Angeles to sign no, our contract for our fourth studio. We have uh, more studios coming up, and of course, we will be needing uh, more equipment, manpower, etc. And yung mga blue naman po, yun po yung mga nakaline up natin for the next few months, few quarters. So, sabi nga namin, click is coming to a city near you. I guess just to cap it all off, tinanong ako last time ng judges natin na, what's your business model, etc., etc. Sabi ko, I guess yung business model namin is um, commitment to our service. And that's actually true. And if I may add, is it's building habits, actually. Two things. Adopt those that work and adapt to those that don't. Thank you, Bob. Thank you very much, Click Media Investors. What did you think of our first pitch? What did you learn uh, is very effective for you and your business? I guess, sir, for us, um, yung pinaka natutunan namin that works for us is be relevant and be a person. Like, kung, kasi people are looking for someone to talk to, di ba? Parang they're just not looking at posts. If the post is something that they do not relate to, or kung hindi kayo responsive sa comms ng kunwari, Facebook, they won't talk to you, I guess. So I think it's building an organic audience po talaga. So is there anything in particular that you think really contributed to the growth in your sales? Siguro sir, kasi I think it's a multitude of factors integrated into one. Kasi una sa lahat, ano po eh, once we fixed our internal systems, no, we made our policies clearer, mas naging clear din yung, kumbaga, things fell into place where they are supposed to be. Pero if it's a perspective of marketing, I guess, we stuck to our old habit of being trying to be relevant and trying to be people behind posts. And siguro ano din, promos. Yan. Nakatulong po talaga yung mga promos na. In terms of the different things no, that you invested on no, with the seed money, what would you say uh, gave you the best return? Cameras po at saka yung mga workstation talaga. Kasi once we had new cameras, that meant that we, con uh, we can accommodate more people. Kasi ang setup po namin dati, kapag may studio setup, hindi makalabas yung iba. So ngayon, um, tulad kahapon, uh, simultaneously lahat ng studios may shoot. And then we have a location shoot pa sa isang hospital. So yun po. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Quick right. Media Group. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you very yeah. much. You can breathe now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Investors, how did Quick Media Group sound to you? What really impressed me was uh, our CEO's growth as a leader, uh, it was very clear that he was looking at this holistically and not just at the business itself, but also himself as, a, as an individual and what he can do better mm -hmm. for his people. So I was really, really impressed by Quick Media today. Yes. Okay.
Yes. From a product perspective, the speed at which he was able to pinpoint exactly what he needs to be able to acquire to grow that business, to grow that revenue, very fast. Uh, very right on the money. Um, acquiring just a few more equipment will triple his workforce and triple his output. So very good. Plus points on that. Yes. In a very short period of time, mm -hmm. he was able to like, uh, ex like hire 17 people, uh, add uh, all of his additional equipment, right? Uh, be able to do all of these market new marketing initiatives like S uh, SEO, email, mm -hmm. and even uh, uh, upgrade their platform, right? Mm -hmm. Using, of course, Maya and then uh, or even like uh, doing a chatbot. So I think he's like on the on a good momentum no, of scaling up even further. Okay, that's just the first pitch. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, amazing. Well, thank you so much, investors. So let's move on to the next. We have Cactus and Canvas. Um, we are very, very grateful for the seed money. And then um, we knew exactly what we were going to use this money. We hire new people um, and then we hired the staff that we didn't have during the pandemic. Also during our pitch uh, last time, uh, we also mentioned that we wanted to increase our online presence. Mm. And uh, we reviewed our strategies and what we did is we sought uh, the help and guidance of our friends who we think are successful businessmen. So a part of our seed money was allotted uh, to send uh, our package of uh, cactus and canvas items to different uh, influencers and mm. nagkataon na it was in time for Father's Day. Yes, um, part of that was to launch our new designs. Uh, for example, our bottle openers and clocks. Here, this is uh, Mir, is one of our influencers who has a following of 108,000 in, uh, on Instagram and he posted an unboxing video. Dennis Trillo, for example, has uh, 700,000 followers and he shared about us on his IG story. Mm -hmm. In total, about 1.47 uh, uh, million uh, uh, influence um, individuals. Yes, um, one of the direct uh, impact of that I uh, through our IG. So we, our IG followers increase and then our IG um, sales increased by 900%. Aside from that, it was also our first time to um, put a bundle or package and apparently mabenta siya na pang regalo. Part of our strategy is to, to reach um, new markets. So TikTok, we open a TikTok uh, account and then our TikTok shop. On top of that, meron pa kaming application ngayon na onboarding as of now. We're on, we being onboarded sa Food Panda and um, Grab, Grab as merchants. Ito, the website. Ayan. With Shopify, the ease of doing uh, the website, we finally have uh, www.cactusandcanvas.com. Actually, yung payment uh, got easier with the plugin of Maya. We are happy to share that Cactus and Canvas was uh, a featured brand of Lazada during the corporate giveaways uh, exhibition. And then one week after that, uh, for that exhibit, yung corporate giveaways, uh, meron na kaming na na out na items na worth 100,000 pesos. Another strategy we did uh, was to join a bridal fair. Again, it's not uh, unusual for us, uh, but uh, it's very interesting because we were featured by a vlogger such as Mama Loy who has about 189,000 followers on YouTube and uh, Silly Queen who has 11.9 followers on TikTok. 11.9 million? Oh yeah, sorry, 11.9 million followers on TikTok. So Ayan. Aside from that, ito, very excited ako uh, because finally, we were able to launch our on-site engraving services and we are proud to say again that uh, as innovative uh, business, we are uh, this is another first in the country. And then part of the seed money was to use, again, to invest um, for stocks. So, mga old products and then new products namin na we will be introducing to you later. And then one event after that uh, is yung Pride March um, sa QC. Um, we're sponsored by, organized by QCLGU. So we participated in that and then we introduced then yung mga bago namin product na colored, uh, printed clocks dun sa, um, for that event. And then after that, we also we have another event, yung DMCI. We were accredited by one of the largest contractors, um, DMCI. So may mga events na rin sila. And then we were, we were officially accredited as the supplier for events nila. We also partnered with uh, different event suppliers in the wedding debut uh, industry. So, what's the impact of our sales? So, in numbers, 
um, let's first dive in sa e-commerce. So for Lazada and Shopee, we saw an increase. So for Shopee alone, we saw at 126% increase of sales. For Lazada, it's 154.87%. When we look at the numbers uh, coming from our online, uh, mostly from Facebook and Instagram, and also combining with uh, the one, uh, our store in uh, SM North, we saw actually from already a high uh, at, at 585,000. In one month, it grew to 1.5 uh, or by 152.6%. And also, in addition to that, because we did uh, join exhibits, not just one, not just two, uh, we added another 200,000. Yes, so to overall, total sales. So for one month, we increased our sales to 1.2 million pesos. So that's for one month only. So uh, from 656,000 uh, to about 1.87 million in just one month. Through the help of this show, uh, we were pushed na to do some stuff to implement changes para magkaroon ng uh, changes sa sales. We also launched our reseller program. If, uh, during our first pitch, binanggit namin that we want to bring uh, our community or to give back to the community. And this is one of the ways to do that. We already in touch through email um, for dun sa Cultura and then National Bookstore. And then um, Rustans, and then may schedule na kaming for presentation, product presentation by next week and then the next in two weeks. As part of Manila Fame, um, talagang balak na namin i explore tong export. But due to the pandemic, it was put to uh, stop. But now, with the help of SITEM of DTI, mm -hmm. we're uh, hoping na maituloy namin to. Yes, and the next um, is Go Local. So we already submitted our application form sa Go, sa Go Local. And then we're just waiting for the official accreditation uh, endorsement by the local DTI office. And then sooner or later, magiging part kami ng Go Local na community. Ayan. And also, uh, we added new products that will showcase the beauty of the Philippines. Geographically, we want to have our second physical store, none other than in uh, Side Port Santiago in Tramuros. And hopefully, with the additional money from Scale Up, ayan, we can turn these photos and videos into Cactus and Canvas reality. On this table, um, we will show you um, yung previous target namin for the year. So, um, during, uh, for our current uh, revenue streams, ang target namin sales for the whole year is 6.5 million lang. So, because of the of this show, the scale up, so we introduced um, yung different marketing strategies and then that, ang target namin for the year na, um, for na sales is 10.5 million. Mm -hmm. And then, because um, we plan to scale up more, adding yung mga bagong mga marketing strategy namin and then yung target namin for one year na sales na is 14.4 million from the target na 6.5 million. Thank you very much. <laughs> Investors, what did you think about our second pitch for the day? You were able to do all of this because you were able to use your seed money for hiring people, mm -hmm. right? So is that where you all use your seed money just for people? Or are there also other things that you invested in? About uh, one third of the seed money we really use to expand our team. Particularly, we uh, we admit that we're not uh, good in marketing, so that's the first person we hired, and also an operations manager. So this really is a boost for us. Actually, what we pitched last time, we did all three: uh, increase in uh, inventory and uh, improve the distributorship, increase in online presence uh, through seeding and also boosted post, and also uh, invest in people. Di ba na bangit namin ng first pitch na? Um, give us 150k, we will turn it to 300k. We turn it to <laughs> million. Wow. <laughs> oh, <fair enough. laughs> Amazing. Pera. <laughs> Can I ask you guys what shifted in your mindset? You know, I remember them coming in here for a pitch, and they were they were okay, but today they come in, they're confident. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're like, I know what I'm doing now. So tell me what shifted, what changed? We talked about this. The boost of confidence that this uh, show gave us really uh, nakaka-pump. Oh. As yes. in, really talagang trabaho. And it's not like working, working. It's fun while working. Uh, yes. 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 Thank, Thank you so much, Cactus and Canvas. 
Investors, what did you think about Cactus and Canvas? You yeah. know, first of all, when I look at the mm-hmm. amount of things that they were able to execute, I can see that is not the seed money working. That is those two individuals putting their all Absolutely. into their business. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's like one year's worth of initiatives in one month. Exactly. <laughs> I'm surprised exactly. they have the energy to present at this <laughs> level today. Retired for them, but very happy yeah. and proud of yeah. yeah. Yes. But that yes. shows that they really have the scale up mentality, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So they mentioned that before they were doing everything themselves, but mm-hmm. then they were able to like build a bigger team, you know, have basically multiplied themselves, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. that's what enabled them to accomplish all of that. So, so much, yes. 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 Mm-hmm. And exactly. I think so. The one thing that I also really appreciate from a growth standpoint for an entrepreneur is having the ambition to set targets. Mm-hmm. Right? Because That's I think so that true. really stretches mm-hmm. yourself to go for more, to try new things, and then mm-hmm. realize, oh, I can actually do this, or mm-hmm. we can actually accomplish this. Mm-hmm. Even if I'm not the expert, I can bring in experts who can help us get to the next level. So I really am impressed by just the growth they've had as, as business owners. Yeah. Thank you, investors. Next up, we have Le Petit Bouquet. First of all, we'd like to thank you for the seed money. Being maybe the youngest in the group as a business. <laughs> we, are, we are only four months old. Wow. We're still taking baby steps. But the seed money has helped us accelerate our plans and goals. So um, in sales and marketing, we use the two-pronged approach via e-commerce, online selling, and we maximize our Shopify account. We also hire the... We're in yes. negotiation with a direct uh, a digital marketing expert, Be Magnified Online. Mm-hmm. And also via traditional sales channel like retailers, um, corporate clients, and mall kiosks. So for the past month, since we're only taking baby steps, as we mentioned, being four months into the business, how did we scale up? First is uh, we are in constant innovation by creating new products and designs. We also increased our daily inventory to meet uh, future demands. We got new equipment. We also got um, a second hand, ch- a hand um, chiller. To keep the yeah. flowers fresh. And of course, uh, with the seed money, we invested in our own website. It's lepetitbouquetph.com and uh, through Shopify account, uh, we can do more online selling. Yeah, we also hired a web designer. Yeah. <laughs> and then the new packaging and materials, we we upgraded our cones before it was... Um, a little soft. A little soft, yeah. Now it's um, a water resistant, resistant and... Mm. More durable. Yes, and thicker. And we also added uh, additional staff member to help us run the day-to-day operations. What's the next step for us? So by August 2022, we're, we're already in talks with uh, a mall operator. And we want to set up a mall kiosk type of operations. So we'd like to finalize the details by August so that maybe early September we can launch our first mall kiosk. Then uh, by September of 2022, we want to be firm in getting corporate clients. We've sent out uh, proposals to dental clinics, uh, offices near our area. So we want to get firm commitments from them. And also the hotels near our area. Yeah. By November uh, 2022, 2022. We'd like to get into a retailer. So we wrote a letter to Pharmacia Nidoc. Mm. So we're hoping for a reply soon. We can do some uh, business proposals and establish the deal. And also we got an invitation from SM. Oh, oh yeah. wow. So by uh, December 22, 2022, we want our uh, established uh, firm sales channels so that we can sell 50 to 100 bouquets a day towards the goal of 1,000. And by next year, on our one-year anniversary, we'd like to increase to two branches a mall. Mm-hmm. 
and by June of next year, three branches. So if ever we win the 500,000, most of it will go into the uh, mall operations. At the end of the day, this is why we are here, to promote small gestures of love. So we will be true to our word, true to our promise. Hindi kailangan mahal ang magmahal. We'll stick to our price point and offer this uh, mini bouquets to everybody. Yun lang po. Thank you very much, Le Petit Bouquet. Maybe we can show yes. the new products to our judges so they can see it up close so, and personal and smell the, them. Yeah. Scented, uh, scented dry. Yeah. Yeah. Ito yung ice. Splurge on roses. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay, so investors, what do you think about Le Petit Bouquet's pitch? One of the things that I noticed was that your industry really is a very seasonal industry. What moves are you making in order to make sure that you're still top of mind on the everyday occasion? On the price point alone, I think we will have the edge on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next step would be through our digital marketing and uh, presence uh, in the malls. From the things that you invested on with the seed money, which did you find to have uh, brought you the best returns? The uh, paper cones that were improved really helped a lot. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we ordered 3,000 pieces already okay. for those. As well as um, uh, the extra help. And the extra help, of course, the manpower. Yeah. So thank, thank you. you so much once thank again. You. Le Petit Bouquet. So investors, what did you think of Le Petit Bouquet's final pitch? Yeah, I think as a very young business, they're taking, they're taking the right steps in terms of increasing their, their footprint mm -hmm. uh, by partnering with different uh, retailers, having uh, building a mall kiosk, right? But you, you see the, the effect of the seasonality of uh, sales mm -hmm. in a product yes. like there. Uh, for them to be able to like really transcend in the industry, maybe they need really to be intentional about building new use cases. What I appreciated taking mm -hmm. note from Miguel as well was that they came in today and they have totally tripled or quadrupled their market segments. It's not just the couples, mm -hmm. but they pointed out so many other fields of opportunities for their business model, which is, you know, reasonably priced flowers. Mm -hmm. So I think they will go very far with that. Yeah, I agree with Miguel. I think in the marketing that I understand they're going to invest in, they really need to push that proposition of mm -hmm. everyday use cases, everyday mm -hmm. flowers. It doesn't have to be <laughs> these big special occasions all the time. But I think something I also noted is uh, it's always really important to understand like why you're doing what you're doing, yeah. right? And what gets you going. Mm -hmm. And for the Petit Bouquet, and I'm thrilled that they took on our advice, it's so yes. much easier to say now. I think it's great that they know why they're doing this uh, because they really believe in this uh, mission of theirs to bring mm -hmm. everyday uh, love and happiness. Yes. Um, and it's something that's really important to go back to when business can be tough sometimes. So yes. I think it's important for entrepreneurs to reflect on what's important to them, what's going to get them going when it's really, really tough. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you very much, investors. Next to present, we have GFF Eco Personal Care. So first and foremost, Paul, I would like to express a sincere and proud gratitude sa lahat ng mga nandito. As a startup, what could have happened in a year happened in a span of a month. And maraming maraming salamat po from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much. From having only three sales channels, now we are omni-channel. Having our own website and then having more partners. And three more soon to open mall stores. One in Ayala Mall to 30th, Ayala Mall Street, and UP Town Center. Also, thank you so much for helping us involve more people in our business. From Atitonet, now we have Ati Pat, also Ati Loida, and Kuya Jude. And to more Kuyas and Ates on our soon to open stores. Also, thank you. Thank you so much for helping our customers to, to reach our customers nationwide. We even started Metro Manila lang po, walang Luzon. Now we can even go to the mountains of Ipugao. We have customers in Cebu and even in Davao. And Wala, masyadong masaya lang. 
and reminding us to really ensure that every delivery is in best quality. We invested po, pinalitan namin yung fillers with, um, now we're using honeycomb craft paper, sustainable, better alternative for plastic bubble, bubble wraps. To ensure still, the quality is still there and also it's still sustainable. Thank you for helping us increase our market reach to more social media ads. Dati po, organic reach lang kami. Now we have 2,000% increase on Facebook. There are people who believe in us, not just because of what we stand for, but because for them, our products really work. And because of that, if given, no, I'm claiming it, given the 500,000, ma'am, sirs, there are just two things we want to focus on. One is research and development. Second is collaboration and expansion. Let me expand on that. Sir, thank you very much for your feedback. Na sana mas marami ka pang produkto makita sa amin. I now present to you our four new products. Bath bomb, castle soap, Himalayan soap, and heto po yung medyo patok ngayon. Under eye and vegan under eye lip balm. Ma'am, salamat po sa feedback niyo ng quality. Sobrang laking tulong kasi ngayon, yung feedback ngayon ng mga customers namin, uy, okay na siya. Dumadating siya ng buo. Kasi dati medyo, ano na eh, parang. <laughs> so, if given a chance, ma'am, we'd like to focus more on research and development. To bring more quality, especially in marketing po, para mabigay po namin yung the best for our customers. Sir, thank you for your feedback on branding. We've taken it seriously, and that they never any hesitation in. We're like, the spirit is different. But right now, I is it na namin yung snap. We're open to it. We want to evolve. We want to evolve to sabi nga nila right now, siguro, five kilometers pa lang yung pinatakun. If we're gonna run for hundred kilometers, given the five hundred thousand, you know, if it happens. And second is collaboration and expansion point. We want to be in different key cities and provinces in the who are, which are, who promote sustainable lifestyle, a sustainable store. Also, we want to focus on different micro niches, on our own niche, so our products will be everywhere, even to those places we can't go. For example, sir, for fitness communities. Ma'am, for hotel, spa, and salon. And sir, of course, this coming from you, cross borders, Japan, Malaysia, and Vietnam. We accept that maybe we can't get all the market, because there are different personal preferences. But there are people who need us. And with the help of Maya, we know we can go to great events. <laughs> So investors, go ahead. Thoughts about this pitch? Thank you for passionately sharing about your progress and where you want to take things. What did you learn over the past one month? Took you from averaging 20 to 30 to now averaging hopefully 100,000 plus and more in sales in the future. We got viral in Tibet Living Facebook page and it was because of one wild client that we actually inalagaan namin siya. Like, from the very start, nagbibigay po siya ng feedback. And then after that, sige ma'am, dahil binigyan niyo po kami ng feedback, I'll give you 10%. And then she came back. Sabi ko, sige ma'am, dahil bumalik ka, dahil bumalik kayo, I give you 5% also, um, percent discount for your friends. And then it spiraled. And then until hanggang ngayon, Parang it's still the word of mouth. The people who will really take you to the next level is the people who trust you. Now that you've really had time to work on the business, we've seen that you've taken so many steps in order to grow. Uh, let's understand how well do you know your own product right now? If you could tell me what sets you apart from every other similar brand, what will it be? We're really here for, from day, from day one, our mission is to provide sustainable products in the world. 
there's no compensating sustainability. We just have to find ways because there's a dire need. There is a need. Okay, thank you very much, GFF. Okay, so investors, what did you think about GFF's pitch and growth? I think the growth is impressive uh, just in one month. And I think, again, we might be seeing, you know, that, uh, the rise of a new entrepreneur. Like, she's learned a lot over the past month. And it's really, really important as an entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur to learn when to, like, take a step back and bring in the right people that can help you scale. And I think the past month has been proof of that. Super duper promising. Correct. You know, not every business owner can take what we've given and turn it into something that is this progressive in just one month. She really took so many very practical steps in order to grow the business. Um, and she hit every single pillar from Prada, to expansion and diversification of channels and also future-proofing her business um, for years to come. At the same time, never once, and she said this, compromising on sustainability. That is right. It's amazing that uh, GFF was able to really improve the products, right? Be able to be more uh, scale and triple sales a month. But I think like it worked from like uh, this is starting, right? Uh, doing doing baby steps, but more if uh, if uh, a lot more Filipinos, maybe uh, far in the future, uh, may are be able to uh, experience their products. Okay, and that is the fourth pitch, almost down to the last. Are you ready for our last pitch of the day? Yes, let's bring let's it go. on. Okay, for our final pitch, and welcome Ili Lekaan Ceramics. Lubos na nagpapasalamat kami sa napakalaking opportunity na binigay ng scale up ng ating mga judges. Thank you very much. Napakarami po namin natutunan. Talagang naging napakamakabuluhan at napakasaya ng aming naging uh, nakaraang buwan. At uh, para maabot yan, uh, sinimulan namin sa pagtingin sa mga kahinaan gaya ng mga nabanggit nakaraang uh, scale up na episode. Uh, Nagkaroon kami ng ideya na balikan kung ano yung mga ito. So, una nga dito ay ang kawalan ng sarili naming espasyo. Wala kaming sariling studio space. Dahil dyan, nagkaroon kami ng mod studio construction. Uh, bakit mod studio? Kasi, di ba mula sa lupa para sa lupa, gusto naming maiugnay. Maging very conscious sa sarili, sa kapwa at sa paligid. At malaking tulong ang pagkakaroon ng bahay na mula sa lupa para sa lupa para sa isang pottery studio. Itong structure na nakikita nyo ay mula noong March na tinayo namin. Tapos naubusan kami ng budget. Sumakto, nagka-scale up, kaya napagpatuloy namin ang pagpapatayo ng studio. At ngayon, halos ganito na ang itsura niya. At patuloy pa rin naming tinatayo. At sa katunayan nga ay noong July 1 to 3, nagkaroon na kami ng pinakauna naming workshop para sa pagtatayo ng aming studio, ang Mud House Building Workshop. Maliban pa sa pagkakaroon ng sarili naming workshop space, ay uh, malaking tulong ang pagkakaroon ng sarili naming studio. Una, uh, bumaba ng 70% ang aming cost dahil nabawasan ng aming mga biyahe para sa mga mobile pottery workshops. Tapos, pangalawa ay mula sa uh, wala hanggang dalawang workshop per month dahil may sarili na kaming espasyo ay uh, pwede na kaming magsagawa ng weekly workshops. So tataas talaga yung income namin mula dito. At dahil dito, sa Madhouse Building Workshops, yung mismong pagpapagawa ng studio ay naging income generating. na activity rin at nagkaroon kami ng additional workforce mula sa mga participants habang nagpo-promote ng sustainability at sustainable building practices. Ang pangalawang kahinaan na nakita ng ililikhaan ay ang inefficiency unang-una sa sales. Kaya napakalang bagay ng Shopify at Maya kasi na-automate lahat ng processes ng um, transactions ng ILI. Tapos dahil doon, mas marami ng oras sa ibang, sa ibang gawain. Magtayo ng studio sa production. Pangalawang inefficiency ay sa operation. Nagkaroon kami ng panibagong miyembro. Pangatlong inefficiency ay tungkol sa firing. Kaya dahil din sa scale-up, nakapag-repair kami ng kiln. 
Itong kill namin matagal nang nagserbisyo. Kaya long overdue na para sa rehabilitation. Kaya pinaayos namin, tapos may extra pa kasi may nakasta kami na smaller kiln. So, napag napagawa na rin namin siya. At ngayon, meron na kaming dalawang kilns. So, mas mabilis na yung turnover ng mga works ng mga students. Kasi dati, it takes 3 to 4 months. So, ngayon, within what, one month, wala na namin ibalik. Para sa production rate ng ili, para dun sa malaking kiln mula limang oras na bisk firing, na pagpapapoy, Sa mga gawa ay naging 3 hours na lamang ito at mula 14 hours na glaze firing, 9 hours na lang. Para naman sa mas maliit na kin, kagaya nga ng nabanggit ni Maui, isang buwan na lang. Pangatlong kahina ng ililikhaan ay sa kakulangan, sa kaalaman at sa resources. Kaya nakipag-collaborate kami sa iba't ibang institutions. At uh, kagaya nga ng pag-usapan nating makaraan, yung isa sa mga nakita rin ng ililikhaan ay ang kahinaan namin sa at yung kakulangan sa business knowledge kalaman sa negosyo. Dahil si Maui, ang background niya ay fine arts at ako naman ay sa development work. Kaya talagang ito yung nagkukulang sa amin. Kaya minarapat namin magkaroon ng mga business consultations at napakarami naming natutunan at napakalaking bagay napakarami talaga. talaga. Napakarami. At uh, dadali namin at talagang nagbago sa aming perspektiba sa pagninegosyo. Kaya mula dun sa aming napagdaanan at natutunan, ay nakakita kami ng pag-unlad sa ililikhaan. Nagulat din kami na yung aming gross income mula sa mga workshop at mas madalas na mga workshop ay tumaas ng 396% at yung net income ay tumaas ng 281%. Ano nga ba ang plan ng ili? Ano nga ba yung nakikita namin sa hinaharap kung sakaling kami yung um, mapili ngayong araw? Gusto namin na magmakapaghatid ng holistic experience. Hindi lang workshop ng idilikhaan, pero after ng workshop, meron din pagkain. Gusto namin i-promote plant-based na pagkain. Farm-to-table concept mula sa aming farm. Yun naman ang ililuntian. Tapos para rin, dahil nga pagod na sila galing sa biyahe, syempre kailangan nila accommodations. Yun yung ilitahanan. At napaka-unique din ang experience na to dahil sa mga house sila magsistay. So, ibang experience din. At natutuwa din kami dahil maaari din maging model yung aming mudhouse para sa mga future builders. Kasi yung mudhouse, actually, it can last hundreds of years. Pangalawang bahagi ay ang patuloy na pagusbong. Kaya ngayon ay meron artist residency na nakaschedule si Maui sa Australia. Uh, kasama yung kanyang mga mentor sa pottery. At ang pangalawa ay pagpaglago rin ng sa bahaging equipment para mas maraming ma-accommodate ng mga tao. Tapos magkakaroon din ng ili dapayan. Dapayan ibig sabihin ay um, community gathering. Sa dapayan, gusto namin na makapag-provide ng job opportunity. Nakita namin na kaya hindi kami makapag-scale up online. Ayaw namin na tumaas yung aming demand kasi nga wala kaming masupply. So, kailangan muna na may matrain kami ng mga tao. At sa lalayo pa ba kami, maraming jobless around our community. So, maganda na maging project ito at ma-highlight din sila as makers sa buong proseso. Tapos, magkaroon din ng personal connect connection dahil, dahil consistent na meron ng space para sa dapayan. Yung mga tao may pupuntahan na para magka magkaroon ng sense of belongingness. At para ma-promote din yung adhika ng ili na makalika mula sa lupa para sa lupa. Ili likhaan. Kapag nakikinig ako sa kanila, feeling ko nagre-retreat din ako eh, di ba? It's really a very soul enriching experience. Always to listen to you guys. Yes, yes. So, isang tanong ko sa inyo. Ano isang bagay na dati takot na takot kayong gawin pero nagawa nyo sa isang buwan na yan? Napakadami! Napakarami! Lahat! Oh. Isang pinakamalaki! Nakita namin na pag nag-invest ka, may makukuha ka talaga. Na dati, hindi nga namin nakikita kasi nga, yung pagiging business-minded ay talagang napaka-alien sa amin. Tsaka kung gusto, gusto namin na mag-welcome ng community. Kailangan din magsimula sa amin. Meron din kaming community na tulong-tulong na gumagawa. The growth of 336% is wow! 
kahanga-hanga siya, no? So, what do you think yung ginawa niya in the past month that re- really contributed to that ano, uh, big and huge growth? Uh, nagulat kami po dun sa turnout ng Models Building Workshop. Sobrang dami palang interested. Tapos first time po kasi namin mag-offer ng 5 digits na workshop rate. Tapos uh, natakot po kami na baka walang mag-enroll. Tapos sumugal lang kami kasi yun yung cost eh. We have to be true to our pricing. Ganyan. Tapos, oo, yung dami palang interested. Tapos yung mga tao, dahil nga unique siya. Tsaka kami palang yung nag-offer ng ganun, yung mga tao gusto talaga matuto. So ngayon, meron din kaming nakabang na tatlo pa na mud house building workshops. Unti-unti yung katatingding namin. Nabubuo sa kada workshop namin. Okay, maraming salamat. Ililikhaan! Thank you! Wow, what a way to end our pitch showdown. And this is the finals. So what did you think about our last pitch for the day? It's amazing that they were able to uh, still stay. Uh, stay with their uh, roots. But uh, be able to be uh, be open, try it. Uh, try a few things again. Uh, how they were able to just uh, rely on their, on their one product, which is pottery. They were able to like build now a whole ecosystem around their craftsmanship and services and yep. uh, uh, yep. they have more of that, no? More product lines, so I don't know. Uh, they've grown but not in a different uh, way like the other con- uh, contestants, right? But uh, I think they're good. You know, I, I remember them coming here and them having this problem mindset. You know, these are one, two, three problems. We have to fix this one, this one, and this one. And now it's not. They are in growth mindset. The ideas that they presented today are way out of ballpark from anything we ever imagined. Imagine you can actually monetize building a mud house. So amazing, amazing. Um, and they were able to really hit the nail on what their soul is and to be able to give that in one-of-a-kind experience. Absolutely. I'm truly impressed. Um, I think the soul of Ailey, that's why the ecosystem you just described makes so much sense. It doesn't feel like you know, you're spreading yourself too thin. It really just feels like natural extension of the spirit that they're trying to bring forward to share with, um, with their customers. Um, what I what I particularly love is just what a great example they are for how um, you can really grow, right? They have that growth mindset. You can get outside of your comfort zone and not have to limit yourself to thinking, oh, I've always been an artist. I will never do what you know business people do or marketers do. But actually, you can learn it. And I think what's really impressive is they really sought out advice from different people. I think that's. Um, putting yourself out there in that way, being very vulnerable, is really an important step for a lot of entrepreneurs. Thank you once again to our investors. You have a tough job ahead of you today. So, of course, let's deliberate away. Now it's time for the investors to decide on who takes home the grand prize. So the time has come right now, and here it is. Investors. Who will be able to scale up their business further? You know, when we started, scale up we wanted to help businesses take their growth to the next level and inspire the next generation of filipino founders this was a very very difficult decision we deliberated a lot we wish we could have more than one winner but today the winner is gfs Congratulations, GFF, and thank you so much to our team's amazing job. So thank you so much and congratulations. We will stay updated on your businesses. Consider us as customers. (laughs) And we can't wait to see your growth after this. Thank you very much. And to our grand winner, the tears are speaking for themselves. Congratulations once again, GFF. With that, we would like to thank our investors, Pepe Torres, Maya's Chief Marketing Officer, Lauren Tan, the co-founder of Tiny Buds, and Miguel Guerrero, the co-founder and CEO of Guzzi.ph. 
This has been Scale Up. Sobrang saya. Tapos hindi ko alam, parang tumatakbo yung isip ko, ano, ano na nga bang nangyayari, parang ganun. Sobrang saya niya lang. Sobrang thankful din. I feel like everybody is really deserving. Everybody has a cause. Everybody has a fighting chance. Iniisip ko lang ka talaga kanina, sana makommunicate ko ng tama para naman yung fighting chance ko mas tumaas. Since the very start, yung mga feedback nila, nung seryoso ko yun, sobrang laking bagay na lumaki yung business namin in a way na hindi ako ganun nahirapan. Dahil syempre, alam na nila yung dapat gawin. Saka yung sincerity nila na they really want to help. And I felt it. And mas yung support system nandun. Kaya parang ang saya na merong ganito. Meron, meron ka naging katulong. Hindi lang yung seed money, but actually the support.